Hi everybody, I'm Bonnie Barker with BonnieBabeCrochet.com and welcome to Friday Fun Live. I'm so glad you could come join me today. Um, we've got lots of fun things to talk about. Um, but first of all, I just wanted to thank you so much for all of you who posted on my Facebook page and um, on the, the post about the, the silver button thing. Yay, we did it. It was all of us together. It wasn't just me. I just want you to know that I know that. Um, but thank you for your gracious comments. I, I feel like I'm the luckiest person um, on the internet who gets to do this together with my friends. So thank you, thank you, thank you. And, and you know, let's keep going. I mean, I know a lot of times people in my position say, okay, let's go for a million, you know. I'm like, well, you know what? I'm thrilled with 100,000. But of course, you know, let's continue to grow and get the message, the, you know, the positive message of crochet out there and um, just blessing others and you're doing it just the way you do it, just the way you all are towards me I know that many people are being blessed by what you do well I want to go ahead and say hello to some of y'all been so patient waiting for me in the chat um Emmeline hey I am so sorry to hear that you all are are having to deal with 90 degree temperatures in Switzerland I know that's brutal um, for those of you who've not been to Switzerland before a lot of people in Switzerland don't even have air conditioning because quite frankly, they don't need air conditioning. So if they are encountering 90 degree temperatures, that's that's brutal and that's suffering and they can't go inside into their AC. They're just gonna have to wait for the, the weather pattern to change. So Emily and I'm really hoping that that changes for you soon. Um, but here in South Carolina, that's just normal. That's just the way we roll. Um, I remember many, many times um, during band camp when I was um, in college and we'd be in Columbia, South Carolina, which in a sense ge uh, geographically was kind of a bowl where a lot of the air just didn't move. And I remember being in August sun, um, learning marching routines and just trying not to pass out. Um, it would be close to 100 degrees and humidity close to 100 percent and ugh. Um, but anyway, we had to just tough it out too, but we did have air conditioning when we could get the brakes. But anyway, okay, enough whining about the past. I'm not so sure I could survive those band days um, if I had to do that again. So, um, and let's see. Hey, Madel Madeline, Madeline, thank you so much for joining me. And uh, Emmeline has a couple comments here. She says, I'm still working on my 120 bonbon squares. Wow, you are brave. Um, to receive the yarn from for the Carolina Sun. Yay, thanks for joining me for that one too. And still waiting for the yarn for the rug. It's on back order. Eh, I'm sorry about that, Emmeline. Um, but you know, busy, busy summer, lots of people still stuck in. So we're just um, living on our yarn here. Um, she says, my summer is pretty much in line. I cannot stay to talk. I cannot say, I can say so to, I guess to talk to you next week. Love and prayer for you all. Thank you so much. Um, yeah, I don't know. There might be a limit to how many how many symbols can be typed in there, Emily. And I'm not sure, but yeah. Um, let's see. And Tracy wanted to know what time this starts. I did post a comment below there. It always we always try to start at noon. And I'm gonna say up front while the internet is still working, um, there is some construction going on across the street, and we've seen the um, Ori Tech uh, Telephone Company right down the road from us so if i really hope we don't go in and out the last half hour before we went live the internet was on again off again and the cable tv everything was just going dark here so hopefully um if that does happen my um uh, internet the phone internet uh, not the internet but you know the cellular will kick in and if it does it's going to be a little jumpy but i will try to talk quickly and try not to go too long so that we can avoid some of that and we have Discovering Hope from Rochester, New York. Thank you for joining us. And Hannah Barker and Hudson Barker. Um, just to let you all know, um, Becky is working by the grace of God. So she's not able to um, be the moderator that for this particular um, live chat. But um, my daughter Hannah and, and son Hudson, both non-crocheters, um, but wonderful, wonderful folks. I love them dearly. Um, they are going to be helping us today keep us safe so if you have crochet questions that I don't get to during the live please just post them 
in the description box after this post, or you can just always contact me, bondybay at me.com, and I'll try to help you with the questions because um, they're not going to be able to answer them. Um, if, it's a, if it's a question about machine, machining and technical things on flying and stuff, Hudson will be great to help you. And Hannah's great on other things, internet, and she's really good with um, BTS. So, <laughs> um, so anyway, you all are, are stuck with just me today on trying to answer some of these questions, and we'll just do the best we can. Um, let's see. Oh, we got a lot, of, a lot of people here. We have I Love Loopy crochet and treasures um, we have Esther hey Esther thank you for helping me she's she's also um, helping to moderate our group chat um, and we have Jake Parker and Pat Dancer and let's see uh, Lisa Law um, she says Tennessee is hot too oh I honey you're in the south I know it's it's hot we've had some you know everyday thunderstorms and everything from all the humidity and the heat bubbling up here although it still hasn't been as hot as it could be here but anyhow um we have kathy Breyer. she says sounds like your band camp was like mine it was in south carolina <laughs> did that four years in a row and i believe it was hotter than my my band camp in in south florida honestly because in south florida you get the um you know you get the tropical breeze south carolina nada no no tropical breeze there just hot and sweltering heat um, at least in the summertime it's a great place to be in the winter though i just want to put that in hey brats mom thank you for your greetings i'll tell becky you said hi um she's working right now um so um and brats mom says hope everyone is doing well thank you i think we are um and we have kathy from ontario i'm going backwards here i see and marie proudfoot hey marie my neighbor just down the road in the next uh, couple towns down from me and um, Barbara from Northeast Pennsylvania, thanks for joining. And, and Mary Lou, um, thank you for, it looks like a, a comment in Italian. Thank you for joining us. Um, grazie. And, um, and Tracy, she says, I love her t-shirt. Well, thank you, Tracy. This is the one that my mother-in-law inspired um, sitting around. And we were actually, um, I was actually texting with Esther, Esther, who's one of our moderators. And, um, I think I told the story last week, but Esther texted me and she said, my mom says I have too much yarn. I think I was asking her if she needed me to send her some more yarn. And, um, and, um, anyway, so, um, my mother, I told my mother-in-law, I said, ah, oh, you know, Esther's mom, so she, she has too much yarn. And, and my mother-in-law says, oh, she doesn't have too much yarn. She just doesn't have enough time. <laughs> so I'm like, I've got to coin that. So that's, that's where this came from. So I can thank my mother-in-law for, for, for helping me out she over over her lifetime has done everything she's done everything from make all her own clothes including suits um, this was before I became part of the family more than 30 years ago though but she also has learned to do crochet she's she's knit sweaters um, she can't do any of that now because of the um, the extreme arthritis just about everywhere that she's dealing with it's I guess what happens when you live to be in your 90s which again is a blessing in some ways but it's you know you, you, you get to get to struggle in others so um, anyway she knows all about the crochet and her mother uh, grandmother boss I got to, to spend some time with her early in my marriage wonderful wonderful woman went to be with the Lord many years ago but um, she was a fantastic crocheter I actually dedicated one of my one of my books to her um, she was just an inspiration to our family. Just incredible. She was, um, I know I'm getting into, I'm getting off, off, off script here, but she was, uh, married. Um, uh, when she married, she married a widower who already had four kids and then she had four more. Um, so, so yeah, she was pretty incredible. And, um, and her husband was an itinerant pastor and then kind of would travel around preaching. And, um, we had a really interesting conversation with my mother-in-law this week about that. I'm like, how was that, you know, being a, a preacher's kid? And she's like, it was tough. <laughs> but anyway, so um, anyway, just a little bit of background there. But um, anyway, just can't I get carried away talking about my inspirations here? Um, so I want to finish saying hi to everybody. Tammy, thank you for joining us, and Judy. Um, and um, ooh, Terry from Southern California and Virginia from Vernal, Utah, if I'm saying that right, and Rebecca from Missouri. Thank you all, wow, 
We're doing our, um, our, our weekly geography lesson. And Mary from Texas, she says, thank you for your time. Oh, my pleasure. This is something I look forward to all week long. This is my social interaction of any kind, really outside of my immediate uh, family. Um, who happened to be here this week? My husband and my daughter Hannah and Hudson are here this week. Yay, so I get to enjoy being with them. They're heading back tomorrow. Boo. But um, but anyway, so you guys, you know, you guys are really it. I'm just really, you know, buckled, locked down here, you know, except for food. I don't go anywhere. I haven't been to a yarn store in months. Uh, anyway, fussing again. Um, so I want to say hey to Dawn and Lisa Law and Marsha from Massachusetts. She said Massachusetts is toasty warm. Oh, wow. I knew you guys were suffering too. Um, a lot of people don't have, um, at least didn't when I was there in the 80s, didn't bother having air conditioning because didn't need it, but maybe one or two days of the year. Um, they have Jan and Gala and Yuchi from Germany. Welcome. And Swati from LA. Hey, Swati and Tammy and Laurie. And I am really out of order here on this. I'm sorry. Um, let's see if I can catch you. We have Jake Parker and um, Barbara Bolton. Thank you. From Alaska. Thank you. Hopefully you're cool <laughs> there in Alaska, Barbara. And um, we have Archer Nace. And see, Jan says it's 74 in cloudy at Illinois today. Um, see, I get back from Missouri yesterday. It was sunny and hot but I was freezing in my sister's house she keeps it so cold well I know what I know what that feels like um, you've heard me talk about living in Florida and uh, when you're living in Florida let me show you what you do <laughs> and I have one here in, in my mother-in-law's house too you keep a jacket handy at all times um, for those of you from Australia I've got my I've got my Australia jacket handy um, ready to wear and in a moment's notice because um, one part of the house here stays really cold, but the part where all the people hang out in the living room and everything, you know, with all those bodies and the body heat, it, it kind of warms up. So it's it's kind of weird. So I, I keep jackets around so I don't get cold. And I have some shawls and things too around here. I've got my shawl in the living room, my jacket back here in the in the office. Um, uh, thank you, Archer and Ace. I'll tell Becky. I'll give her your message afterwards. And... Um, Tammy, she said, oh, wow, Tammy, thank you. She said, yesterday I did purchase the T-shirts and hooded pullovers from your store. Christmas gifts and one for me. Can't wait to see them. I hope they work out for you, Tammy. Um, I, if, you, if you can, post a picture of yourself wearing it on my Facebook page. That would be so much fun for me to see. Um, I, I'm having a ball wearing these. And I will say that um, I did order the, the comfort tee. I think I told you last week. Um, two sizes larger than what I usually wear. And then I washed it. And it does fit a lot better now. So I'm really glad I did that. I still like mine a little bit loose. I think if I had just ordered it one size larger, it would have been fine. Um, I just kind of like the, you know, the more untight, modest look. Um, so that's just the way I roll. I try to anyway. Um, and let's see, Sandra says, hello, Bonnie and everyone. I hope all is well. I'm still on my granny's quilt. But finishing up the hand quilting, I will soon be back to crocheting. Well, you go, girl. Wow, you multi-talented person with all these quilting things. That's great. Um, and I just had a bunch of things fly ahead of me. Hold on, guys. Uh, you know how slow I can be. Then oh, we have Gail from Sebastian, Florida. Wow, that, that must be, I'm guessing, on the West Coast because I'm not familiar with where Sebastian is. I made so many trips up and down that 95 corridor uh, going up and down the East Coast of Florida. Um, just about have all those places memorized. Uh, see, Christine Y says, beautiful summer day here in Herndon, Virginia. Hey, that's right outside, not far from where my family, or where, from I, where I usually live. Um, uh, Christine, see, Rhonda, what's on the hook? Says, hey, Bonnie, been absent because of pain from arthritis. Just dropping in to say hello. Oh, Rhonda, I'm so sorry. Uh, I see up close and personal what that looks like and starting to feel a little bit myself, but um, so far not too bad. I, I hope things go better for you. We'll have to um, pray for you, Rhonda. That's that's hard. Um, let's see. Archer Nays. Oh, my friend just lost his cat child. Please pray for both of them. Oh, sorry to hear about that. That can be really tough. I don't know what I'll do when my, when my kids, both my married kids have cats. I, love them dearly they're the only grand cats i have <laughs> i don't have any grandchildren which is fine i'm patiently waiting 
Um, but if anything happens to those kitties, oh boy, it's going to be a sad day in our family. Um, we have Kathleen says, good, good afternoon from North Carolina, working on the Ripple Baby Blanket for upcoming grandbaby. Congratulations, Kathleen. That's great. She says it's great. Thank you. You're welcome. My pleasure. Um, Brat's mom, um, just greeting other people. So, so great to see that y'all are doing that. And Stephanie from Indianapolis said rain and 90 degrees. Oh boy, you must be having those thunderstorms like we are here. Um, we have Debbie from Ontario. Thank you, Debbie, for your, your thank you for that. Um, she said congratulations again on your award. That, you know, I'm just really, really thankful. Of course, you know, we've we've gone past that by about 16,000 subscribers. So thank you for keeping this going. And, um, and this is even the slow time of the year for crochet. So I'm really looking forward to the fall, but I've um, been really, really blessed. Um, let's see. Um, lovely Destiny, do you live in South Carolina? Um, yes and no. Uh, I am here um, for a season. I, my, I've always, we've always had family live here, and uh, my mother-in-law just needs someone to be with her round the clock. So I am, I am here for for that. Um, occasionally, my daughter Becky will kind of relieve me, and you know, um, and so forth. But it's just just the way we've chosen to serve our family member, especially during the well, just in general. But um, especially, we're especially grateful that we're doing it this way because of COVID nineteen. Um, all the nursing homes are really locked down and I've already lost one uncle this season from I don't know if he died from COVID-19 it was not told me but um, he passed away in a nursing home and I was really hoping that he wouldn't have to be in a nursing home during this time but um, he said he was out in Arizona I'm here in South Carolina but um, we're just thankful to be able to to be with my mother-in-law she's a great lady uh, really really wonderful person and I'm glad she's not secluded someplace where she would really have more exposure to to a lot of you know this virus and um, and it's a joy to be able to do this and I say that sincerely um, but but normally I'm, I'm in uh, in Maryland which is about 30 minutes northwest of Washington DC um, so um, I kind of miss being there. I'm not able to grow my flowers this year, but I'm able to enjoy my mother-in-law's flowers outside that are blooming. So, you know, life is good. God is blessing us and, um, you know, all is well by the grace of God. Um, see, Pat Dancer says, see Pat from Dallas here. Thank you for the free pattern. Can't wait to give it a try. Thank you for that reminder, Pat. Um, for those of you who didn't, um, weren't with us last week, um, as a thank you gift for helping me to reach or helping us to reach the 200 subscriber mark. Um, if you look in the video description below, there is a, uh, a, a pattern, a video link. Um, it's one of my, it's a few years old. So, I mean, I think I've gotten better at videos since then. Um, but the video link is to my book, to, to one of the 18 patterns in this book. Uh, cable crochet made easy um, up until this point it was only available through the purchase of the book um, but I'm just and I'm not putting it on you know as, as a public video even now the only people the way that you would know that you have access to this is if you watch these live chats which many of you are so faithful to do um, and and you can just click on either the right-handed or the left-handed video those of you who are subscribed to my newsletter and if you want to look into subscribing, um, you can go to my page. But those of you who are subscribers actually got the written pattern as well. So, or a version of it anyway. It's not exactly the, um, all the graphics, that, there really aren't graphics, but it doesn't have all the extra photos that are in the book, but it does have all the directions you need. And this is one of those patterns that you can use the recommended yarn but you really don't have to. It, you can make it as big or as small as you want. It's a triangular scarf or, or shawl, however big you want to make it, and you can make it infinitely big. I mean, if you want to cover your whole room, you can just keep repeating the pattern. And um, you can use any size yarn that you prefer. Just make sure that you use the appropriate hook to achieve the drape and results that you want. Okay, so if you're using heavier yarn, just make sure you upsize the hook. Um, I used 
uh, lace weight yarn, which is very thin for the scarf. Um, of course, I used a much smaller hook, and then I used, uh, I forget what size hook, but the information is there um, for a DK weight yarn. I think it would also look great in just whatever you have in your stash. So I just, just wanted that to you know, give you something else to work on. You can maybe even use some nice, light, cottony um, yarn and make a really nice summer shawl or scarf, you know, for when you go into the air conditioning um, during the summer to help cover up. So anyway, thanks for reminding me about that, um, Pat. And um, we have Cheryl, she says, hi, Bonnie and everyone from Conroe, Texas. Hey, Cheryl, thank you for joining us from the uh, from Texas. And um, <laughs> Gayla says, I have two hobbies, the crafting and I seem to collect yarn. Yes, <laughs> don't we all? But you gotta have tools, right? You gotta have, you gotta have materials to work with. And let's see, we have uh, Miriam Perez. Hi, Miss Bonnie, love your work. Thanks for sharing your project. Here in Florida, high 95, feels like 104. Oh yeah, they got that humidity index going. Have a blessed day, nice shirt. Thank you, Miriam. And I just want to say hey to all my Florida friends. Ah, oh, so, so miss my home state. Um, that's where I was born and raised, Hialeah, Florida, right outside of Miami. Um, Miss, I miss my home state. I miss seeing that big sky and those palm trees swaying in the breeze. Ah, I need to go back. I need to go visit my friends there again. Uh, so we have, hey, Susan from Denver, Colorado. Thank you for joining. And Wanda. Thank you, Wanda, our faithful truck driver who's keeping us all fed and supplied. Thank you for all that you do and on the front lines out there. And Cindy Stone, Cynthia Stone from North Carolina. Hope you're doing well. Yes, Cynthia, thank you. We have Bonnie Madison, hi there, and um, let's see, Donya, and, and is it Scully Kill County, Pennsylvania? Hey, that's probably not far from my Maryland home. And let's see if, I, if I'm missing any questions here. I got a lot of things just scrolled on. Um, sorry, guys, for some reason this just kind of comes in late. Um, okay, Donya says, I have the Tree of Life pattern and will be starting it in a day or so after I finish the Aaron Hearts Afghan. Wow. Well, great. I hope that works out for you. Um, and, and Donya, that reminds me that um, the Tree of Life pattern is back in the Lion Brand uh, pattern bank on their, their website. Um, for those of you who aren't familiar, the Tree of Life pattern is not my my design, but it is a pattern that I had permission from Lion Brand Yarns to teach on my channel a year or two ago, I forget. But anyway, the pattern had kind of like gone missing because Lion Brand had been in the process of rebuilding their new and improved website. And due to a shortage of people working and COVID and all that stuff, um, they've had to do a lot of stuff by hand, manually inputting it. And this week, just yesterday, I noticed that it's back on the page again. So if you just go to my homepage, and if you're interested in that, um, it's the Tree of Life Afghan or Tree of Life Throw. Uh, just put in Tree of Life and it'll pop up. And there's a whole uh, video list, whole playlist, um, because it's quite an involved project. And it uh, focuses a lot on reading stitch diagram so if you're interested in learning how to read charting of stitches that would be a challenging project to start with it's not for beginners i promise you this is more intermediate slash advanced um, i had a hard time with this i it it was uh, it was challenging it's probably the most challenging project i've ever uh followed and um but anyway that pattern is free it's back in their back on their website uh, available for downloading for free. I had so many people contact me, where'd the pattern go, where'd the pattern go? And so I contacted the company and they told me what was going on. So it's back and ready to go. So those of you up for a challenge, check it out. <laughs> and you'll see what I mean when you see it. it's a beautiful Afghan, but it, it's challenging. So just, you've been warned. Um, let me see, let me see. I probably missed some of you guys on here, I'm sorry. Um, and thank you, Kathleen, for your comment. And let's see, said Marley. Um, oh, thank you for your sweet encouragement there. Um, she says I'm brilliant. You hear that, Hudson and Hannah? <laughs> I'm talking to my kids. Uh, I don't hear that very much, but thank you. That 
I, I fooled somebody out there. Um, but thank you, Marlene. I so appreciate your sweet words there. Um, let's see. We have Angela from New Jersey. She says, five more rows crocheting a baby blanket. Good for you. And we have Martha from the Netherlands. Thank you for joining us. Um, thank you, Swati. Um, she says she likes my shirt. She says, my stash has gotten large lately. Still dealing with carpal tunnel pain. Eh. I, I know what that feels like, unfortunately. Um, hang in there. Give yourself breaks and maybe even, my friend tells me that just deep massage in the area around here sometimes helps, but, you know, talk to your doctor, you know. Uh, but, gee, sorry that, sorry you're dealing with that. I think that's just a normal age progression thing. Um, and let's see. Uh, Melanie says, fluffy tote bag girl says hello <laughs> um, and let's see we have Tamala and she's saying wish saying hi from West Virginia and Melanie from Philly says weather is up and down here yeah I bet we're, we're a couple hours from you I guess two or three hours from Melanie up in Maryland um, yeah Esther's talking about the the weather that's about the same I guess where Esther is um, let's see Rhonda, what's on the hook, says, thanks for prayers. I have several projects started and need to get finished. Please pray I can get my medicine. Been two weeks since I visited my doctor. Still haven't gotten the shot. Oh, boy. Yeah, that's that's hard. I uh, hope you can you know, get that taken care of. Um, and let me see. I'm just going to skip through some things here because I'm way behind. Um, Rebecca says, I'm crocheting a scarf from Leisure Arts into crocheting essentials. I'm using Ferris wheel vintage carousel i made a beanie wow i would love to see that rebecca if you want to post that on my bonnie bay crochet page or even just send it to me you can email me bonnie bay at me.com i i'm it you know i it's not a company here it's me um i respond to my emails i know it's not what everybody does these days but i i'm old school and and i like to respond to people i people are important like i said in my video about the hundred thousand subscribers I am very much aware that every one of those numbers is important. It's a real live person and and they're worthy of a response. So as much as I can, it may take me a few days to get to some of these things, but um, or even, even longer if, if things are busy here. But it, you guys are important. We're important. You're important to God. You're important to me. Um, and you're worthy of a response. If you take, take the time out of your busy life to just send someone a communication, by all means, it's worthy of a response in my book. Uh, it's not just about the money, guys. It's about relationships. There's so much more important things in life than about the money and all that. So, um, at least I hope so. <laughs> because, anyway, um, Kathleen says I I was busy, forgot to pop get a pattern. Do we need? To... Okay, I'm not sure what the question is, Kathleen, about that uh, um, if, if you're looking for the written pattern to the shawl that's in email but I don't know maybe they're talking about something else to somebody else here um, if if you need more questions you know where to get me um, Charlene Lucas says it's so hot and humid in Ophala Missouri all you can do is stay in and crochet oh I understand that praying for you and your family and that all that are in that group. Thank you so much. My daughter and grandkids are at Myrtle Beach on vacation. Well, that's great, Charlene. Tell them to be careful. Um, a lot of people, um, Myrtle Beach is a wonderful place. As you may have heard in the news, New York, New Jersey, and uh, Connecticut are requiring um, quarantine for 14 days from anybody coming from, from where I am in my area which is kind of strange, but it's not that bad. But on the other hand, um, because of it being Myrtle Beach and open to the public, everybody is here. I mean, it is not that South Carolinians, well, they could be more careful. I will say that I don't see a lot of mask wearing around here, um, which is why we've kind of much, pretty much stayed home. We wear masks whenever we go out in the public because that's just the way we roll, I'm trying to think of others. I know it's controversial still, which doesn't make sense to me, um, but anyway, that's, that's what we're doing. 
Um, but we see the license plates around here. They're off of 501. They're from everywhere but South Carolina. I mean, we've got people from all over the country coming here to the beach. So, and lots of people from New York, lots of people from the places that have been terrible hot spots in the past. So when people <laughs> start looking at us, like blaming us for it, it's like, eh, you blame the beach. Um, it attracts everybody. We have people from us, um, many Canadians, just everybody um, comes here. So you gotta be careful. You just have to be smart with what you do and how you do it. Um, and there are a lot of people that have cast care to the wind. Um, it's a little too soon to do that, in my opinion, from what my husband, who is a scientist at the National Institutes of Health, he's very cautious. Um, um, in fact, we were going to go to Costco the other day. I know I'm going way off track, but um, we had planned a Costco trip, a much needed one. Um, went down to the one at Myrtle Beach and they had people waiting out line, no social distancing, almost no mask. And my husband, we never get out of the car. We just stayed in the car, drove by and my husband said, we're not going to do that. So in an effort to keep my mother-in-law safe, we just said, ta-ta, we'll check with you next month at some point and, you know, hope things are better. So um, anyway, um, let's see. We have Norma. Thank you for, for commenting, Norma. Said, God, she says, God bless you, Bonnie. My name is Norma. Just wanted to thank you for all the videos you post. You have helped me in so many ways, especially when it comes to cable stitches. Ah, that warms my heart, Norma. Thank you. That's what I'd love to do, as you know. Um... Let me see, we just had a bunch of things jump here. I'm um, sorry, guys. Uh, let's see, oh, Crochet Daily from Orlando, thank you. And, and Michelle Starr, thank you for joining us. Um, and Melanie, sorry, was, okay. Um, let's see, De, is it DeFells, if I'm saying, DeFells Craft from Jakarta. Wow, thank you for joining us today. And um, let's see, Tammy says, Yesterday I was very busy. You were such a blessing. The t-shirts, the hooded pullovers, I found the perfect yarn for the Abigail, Abigail Shaw, and I purchased, wow, what purchased one of your pattern books? It's always a blessing to you. Thank you, Tammy. That is a huge amount of support for me. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I hope you have some money left over for food after all that. Um, but thank you for your support. I do, do so appreciate that. Um, Okay, Melanie Lewis says, any stitch suggestions for right hand primary stri Okay, I guess that's red heart, sorry. Red heart primary stripes or wildflower. Uh, I do have some really cool beginner baby blanket patterns that work up really beautifully with that self-striping yarn, uh, Melanie. If you just go to my homepage and just um, click on easy beginner baby blankets, or just easy beginner in general. Yeah, easy be easy beginner baby blankets. I have a whole playlist um, of at least at least a dozen different baby blankets that would really work well for for some of that yarn. Um, and Kathleen wants to know any word from Bobby. Thank you for asking about him, Kathleen. Um, I've been in touch with him not in the last two days or so, but um, he is home doing well. Um, his mom went to the ER. So if you think of Bobby, pray for his mom, and, and she has been hospitalized for a while, and he is she is his main caretaker. As you know, you all may not know, but Bobby is in a wheelchair, um, and just has a lot of physical challenges that many of us don't have a clue about. And um, you think of her, um, thank you for, for mentioning that. Um, uh, he, you know, as far as I know, he's doing well. Um, I, I just hope that his mom, you know, comes home soon. We're just waiting on that. I'll contact him today to, to find out. I appreciate the prompt on that, Kathleen. Um, oh, thank you, Donya. I so appreciate your emails. I sent them an email. Okay. Okay, so you sent Red Heart an email, I'm guessing. Thank you. Um, oops, what? Good, good. I'm glad they were able to do that. Uh, unless you're talking about, maybe you're talking about, red, uh, you're probably talking about Lion Brand. Um, so thank you. Thank you for, for doing that. Okay, the, I understand what you're saying now. She contacted Lion Brand, asking about it, saying, mentioning the tutorials. Thank you for doing that. And uh, I am so glad you did that. You probably, your prompt is probably what got it up there faster for the rest of us. It probably put it to the front of the line. Um, you all have a lot more pull than a designer does, I promise you. Um, because if I contact them, they may think that I'm, you know, looking to build business. But if, if you're asking 
but that that means so much more so thank you I encourage you all to do that too if you have a question or any issues with yarn companies or even even faulty yarn yarn that just maybe you're not happy with contact them especially if it's red heart or any of those others um, I've encouraged people to do that in the past they said I got red heart but this had so many knots in it and I was not happy with it and and as it contact the company they will make it good now they're with Yon Spirations now. They used to be American owned. They're now Canadian owned. Hopefully things are still rolling the same. I, I don't know. But when they were under Red Heart, uh, before they became bought by Yarn Spirations, um, I told somebody, just contact them if you're not happy with the way the yarn is working for you. And, and they actually replaced her yarn and with a better batch because it was just a faulty batch that they had had available. and. I was just really pleased about that. So if you ever have anything you want to fuss about, it is about my patterns or my videos or whatever, contact me. I will make it right. And in that fact, that reminds me of one more thing to tell you. Um, when I uploaded the Celtic cabled bag, for whatever reason, maybe because I was up late, I don't know what happened there, but um, there are two versions of row 14. Uh, one has been removed and I believe is corrected and ready to go. Um, I still need to correct the left-handed one, but when you see that and you see two row 14s, just do row 14 one time. That's all you have to do, okay? So sorry about that if it caused any of you all confusion or delay that was not intended, intentional. Um, it was probably a late night oversight, um, but both versions were fine. It's just that you only had to do it once, not twice, like the video said. Um, it was just two takes of the same, uh, the same row, if that makes sense. Um, and if any of you have ever done any film editing, you know what I'm talking about. Sometimes it can, the nights can get long and, you know, <laughs> stuff happens. Um, so uh, let's see who else we have here. Uh, Terry Redman says, I need 48 hours for my day to complete all my projects on my list. Terry, you know what? At this point in my life, I'm not allowed to die. I have, I have to live at least until <laughs> about 300 just to get all the ideas in my head done. I, I figure, you know, at least 300 years, but if God wants to make it until about, you know, was it Methuselah lived, what, 900 and something years? Um, although I really don't want to live that long because I, I, I want to be with my family and, and you guys and my friends with the Lord in heaven, with that perfect body that doesn't have aches and pains and where there are no tears and no sin. But um, anyway, if I needed to get all my projects done, I would, I would need at least three more lifetimes to do it. 48 hour day might be might might actually be part of that solution too. Um, thank thank you Esther. Let's see. Melanie had a, a question. Okay. Okay, I think I did answer that question. Thank you for for that prompt, Esther. Um, oh, thank you Kathleen. I appreciate your comment there. Um, and let me tell you you don't know me. <laughs> I mean, I do have another side, but I, I try not to show it here, but um, God is good and he has gotten me through an awful lot of stuff, which I think, you know, he's for who, I love that verse in the scriptures where it talks about, um, I mean, just con read Kathleen's comment. She says, that's why we love you, Bonnie. Your heart is as precious as your spirit. I might, my response would be, thank you. I so appreciate that, um, that I like Jesus's words where he says, he who has forgiven much loves much. And I like to think that's maybe why, again, by his grace, not by what's inside here, but um, I've been forgiven much and and still need much more forgiveness, like many of you may understand what I'm saying. Um, need it day by day, and I've been forgiven a ton of stuff in my lifetime, and um, that helps. Just knowing where you've been um, helps me a lot just to keep things in perspective, especially these days. <laughs> As we all know, we need we need a good dose of need a good dose of grace and a, an awareness of where we've come from and where we're headed. We don't have to return to where we came from. We can go on a much better road. Um, and Angela says it's beautiful here in New Jersey this morning. That's great, Angela. Um, yeah, thank thank Donna. Yeah, I thank you, Donna. She says uh, from Tucson. Let's see. Something just jumped on me there. Um, see, Donya had to say goodbye. My dog needs help getting out of the pool. <laughs> I'll be getting wet. That's funny. Um, 
And let's see, I'm just gonna go ahead and go on my list here. It's already 12.39, gee whiz. I haven't really said much. Um, and I didn't bring the afghan I meant to bring, but the Carolina Sun Throw um, is using this yarn back here, four different colors. All that information is in the video description. It will be coming July 6th. Um, I was, had a great time on Sunday. My husband helped me to, to take some really fun pictures um, down at Myrtle Beach right 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 during sunrise so I can get the sun in there and that was so much fun and it was great because there weren't really anybody at the beach there wasn't anybody at the beach at the time it was beautiful um, the weather cooperated and that's when I was able to shoot the the video for the um, unboxing of the silver play button that was so much fun um, had some challenges with that it was kind of crazy but you know gotta, gotta make it interesting right <laughs> Um, anyway, so that is coming and let's see what else do I have on my list. Um, I talked about the tree of life. Um, and I did talk about the newsletter. If anybody wants to get on board with the newsletter that I send out, I don't do it a lot. I, I don't spam people every day. It's, if it's once a month, it's a lot for me because it's something that kind of comes and goes as I have time. Um, but that's where the free pattern is to the video that's in the link below. Um, if you sign up, I'll, I'll try to, you know, send you a copy of it, um, today, if, if that's something that's interesting, but you have to go to my webpage, bonniebaycrochet.com and sign up for it. Cause I don't want to not allowed to spam you all without your permission. Not that it's spam, but you know what I mean? Um, I don't, and, and I don't just to let you know, I do not sell that list. Once you get on my, my newsletter list, I don't sell it to anybody. I, I think that's, outrageous um, when people do that. I know it's part of the business in some people's eyes, but I don't do that just to let you know. Your information is safe with me. And um, anyway, let's see, what else do I have? Um, oh yeah, let me, let me show you this real quick. I showed it to you last week. I'll show it to you again. This is coming at um, the end of, see what month are we in? We're in June, going into July. So this will be towards the end of July. This is the um, wheat cabled heirloom baby blanket. And as you can see from, from this, this is incredible drape with this yarn. And, and yes, this is more of that, um, of the nurturing fibers bamboo and made with nine, nine squares. And I'm working on the editing of that as we, you know, as we speak, um, got that close to being ready to be uploaded and it'll be released end of July sometime, um, after the Carolina sun. So I'm into squares right now because it's the easy thing to do during the summer. And the yarn that I use for this is the Eco Fusion. And I got a ball of yarn back there on the, on the shelf. It's the half. It's like 50% eco cotton and 50% eco bamboo. It's sourced in a very responsible way. It's out of um, South Africa, um, near Pretoria, I believe. No, 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 no. I think that's more, that's more South. Well, anyway, it's from South Africa and it's available through Good Loops Yarn and that link is in the video description below. If you use the same yarn that I was using, I believe it is, um, I believe you need five balls of blossom and four balls of the sweet pea. If you wanted to use, you can use any yarn you want, you know that, but um, another good option if you wanted just to stick with the cotton, that would work, or if you wanted just 100% bamboo, they have that too. So, you know, any, any of those um, little balls of yarn uh, would work very well for this baby blanket, which feels amazing. Um, let me see if I can catch up with anybody. Um, oh dear. Um, let's see. Um, Donna says, good morning from Tucson, Arizona. City is still battling wildfires in our mountains. Oh man. Um, they had that one year when I was out there. Um, please continue to pray for firefighters and those directly affected by the fires. Oh, I'm so sorry to hear that, Donna. I didn't even know that was going on. Um, I wish the news would be more comprehensive sometimes. Um, I do hope they get that under control. I love, 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 love being out there in Arizona. Um, 
Yeah, Tammy says, no worries. God works 24 hours, seven days a week. Yes, he does, Tammy. Thank you for that reminder. And you know what? He gives us just what we need. You know, we always want more. And sometimes it's not a good thing, uh, the things that we want. So, yeah, we, we have what we need. You're so right. Thanks for that reminder. Um, we have Gabriella from Mexico. Thank you for joining us. Uh, hola, amigo. And um, Swati says, fun fact, I've actually found one knot in the paint box yards. <gasps> <laughs> um, let me go. Where did it go? It just jumped on me. Ah, I hate it when this happens. Sorry, guys. This thing just jumped on me right in the middle of reading this comment. I'm going to find it, Swati. Hold on a second. Okay, here we go. I have actually found one knot in the paint box yarn when I did the colorful crochet blanket, but overall still one of the best acrylic yarns to work with. Wow. Well, Swati, I'm so sorry that you found one knot in that yarn. But let me let me clear let me make this clear. To make that blanket she's talking about, she had to go through 20 scans of yarn. So if you go through 20 scans of yarn and you find one knot, that's like pretty good, don't you think? I, I've used the um, you know a lot of the yarns that are commonly found in um, the big box stores, Michaels and places like that. And I always run into knots in almost every scan. I mean, I'm talking the major, the major brands. I won't name them, but you know what I'm talking about. I mean, and sometimes you get some that are like near the end of the bolt or something and you're like, not, 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 not. And I, I got that in a color changing yarn one time and I was about to throw the thing through the window. I mean, oh, it was made me so mad. And, and what really, what was frustrating is it was, um, for a design for Leisure Arts for one of my leaflets for one of the super scarves. And um, it was beautiful, self long striping yarn, but there were so many knots in this one thing. I had to actually start the project over. I mean, and I had done like, you know, this much of a project and had to chuck it. <laughs> well, I, I haven't, I haven't found any knots yet in mine and I've gone through to date probably between 40 and 50 scans of, of um, their yarn. And I've got 20 scans waiting for another undisclosed project coming this fall. <laughs> um, I haven't even started on it yet, but I've got it all charted on paper. And I am so excited about it. And I can't tell you anymore. Ha, ha, ha. <laughs> I am just teasing you this time. Um, and Kathy Breyer says, I just contacted Burnett. I was working with the Burnett Softy Baby Cotton. The third scan I had, I was using, had four knots in the first half of the scan. They gave me a $20 gift card. Good, Kathy. I'm so glad. Um, good job, Bernat Yarn. Um, and, and thanks for telling me that, Kathy. That's good. See, people do want to make it up. So, um, you know, that's my rule of thumb. If you're going to fuss about a company about anything, whether it's political statements, lack of political statements, and you know I'm not going there, um, but you know how I feel about things. And if you have any questions or doubts or concerns, contact me. And um, let's work it out. And I will tell you, um, don't go to the airways with your fussing. I mean, and because Kathy went direct to the source, she got satisfaction. Isn't that great? Um, instead of just complaining in a toxic chat room somewhere uh, for a, a company, which I will not mention. Um, and you know what I'm talking about. Um, Go to the source. That That is a great thing to do. And it's the loving thing to do, too. If somebody offends you, go to them and try to reconcile. Isn't that what we're supposed to do? Um, that's generally not what a lot of people do these days. But you know what? I know it's old-fashioned, but it's the right thing to do. And look at that. Kathy's got a $20 gift card. She's probably can buy four times the amount of yarn that she had invested in. Good for you, Kathy. Thanks for letting us know. Um, and Terry wants to know, how do I get your t-shirt? Um, well, Terry, there should be right below the video, there should be a Teespring store right there. And if not, there's a link in the video description below for the Teespring store. And I've got different, different things in there. And like I said, the last couple broadcasts, I've priced them as low as I really can. Um, they're much lower than what Teespring recommends because I, I don't like price gouging, but anyway, um, so let's see what else we got here. Um, there are a lot of comments I'm going to miss, guys. I'm sorry. Uh, well, I'm going to try and do my best here. Donna says, I tell my husband the same thing. I could never die to make, 
I can never die. Too many crochet projects to finish. Yes, Donna. So we're going to be living forever, okay? <laughs> we have to. Uh, anyway. Um, yes. Yes, but that's, if that's the other thing. Yes, Kathleen Champ says, amen to a pain-free pain body. And, and we all have that other side, sister. Yes, Kathleen. You know what's going to be so cool? I mean, we're going to, you know, I believe those in, in Christ Jesus are going to be with him forever. And he promises a pretty nice place to live. And, you know, it's just going to be kind of fun. So whatever we miss out on here, you know, you can just come on over to my house and stay for a few hundred years. You know, we've got all eternity. It's going to be great. And just think the yarn's not going to have knots in it. And everything we do is going to be perfect. I'm real excited about that. And we're going to have good attitudes. It's going to be great. <laughs> um... Yes, uh, let's see. Discovering Hope says, Amen. Forgiveness humbles us. Yes, it does. And we all need it. We all need it. Um, and thank you, Archer Nace. You, you're the ones who are reminding me. She says, um, I love you because you remind us um, part of what we love about crochet is praying and giving gifts to others. You guys all excel in that. You know, I, I see pictures you post all the time of your stuff, and it's always, look what I made for this person, or look what I made for that person. And, you know, sometimes the stories bring me to tears because of your heart. They're just so, so amazing, or just how, uh, I can't even go there, because I, I read something the other day in an email, and it just, I'm still waiting to respond because I want to have a good answer and good suggestions for this person, but um, just the love you have for each other is, is apparent and is, is incredible. And a lot of other crafters online are missing out on that. And that's just really sad to me. Um, it's so easy to get embroiled and to get invited to arguments on social media. And um, I, one of my family members, I think one of my kids reminded me, you know, a while back saying, you don't have to um, accept every invitation to every argument online. And um, people should know you. If they know you truly, they know your heart, you, they, know, they know your position on things, and they know you're not, you know, in that list of, you know, bigots, racists, and all that stuff. And, you know, hopefully that is true um, of, of all of us. Um, and, you know, people shouldn't have to ask those questions. So I, I won't go there. I'm not going to go there. I have many of you, I, I, many, many of you don't look a thing like me. People from many different countries, backgrounds, and everything. And I love you all. I mean... Heaven is going to be the most diverse place ever. And um, we need to get used to that. And we need to get used to loving everybody, um, regardless, you know, of, you know, our differences, you know, even our political differences. We need to, we need to overlook a lot um, these days in particular. Um, or it, it, and again, I'm not going to get specific because as soon as I do, it's going to be offensive to somebody. And, and that's not my goal here. My goal here is to bring joy, talk about crochet, and things that we love. But I do have something I want to read to you in just a few minutes. And you know, okay, it's 12.52. It is getting late. And I think so far, the internet has held. That's a blessing. I have a friend of mine out in Colorado who promised to pray for us about this because I'm not kidding you. 15 minutes before we were to go live, the internet was on again, off again, on again, off again. So... Uh, God is answering prayers even as we speak. But anyway, um, I'm going to see. Let's see. Um, thank you, Terry. Um, she says, we need more people like you on social media with the spirit of God to encourage people. You're definitely his ambassador. Thank you, Terry. That really blesses me. But you guys are the same. You, you guys are, I mean, I got hundreds of hundreds of comments. I got probably more encouragement this past week about this little silver thing than most people experience in their entire lifetime. That is so humbling. Okay, stop. <laughs> but it's because of your hearts, and, it, and that's just incredible. Oh, I'm never going to get through this reading, guys. Oh, okay, get a grip. But anyway, thank you, thank you, thank you. That really, really, really am touched by what you have to say. Um, oh, thank you, Swati, she says. Okay, need a distraction here. She says, I love the new cable design in the blue bag. Thank you, Swati. She's talking about, mm, she's talking about this bag. And this is one, this is the cabling pattern she's talking about. And this, this is available on my homepage. It's called the Celtic Cable Bag. So definitely check that out. 
with the corrected video now. And the pattern is actually available in the Crochet World magazine. Okay, so if you're a Crochet World magazine subscriber, you've already got the written pattern. Um, if not, you can get it from them. The information would be in the video description of the Celtic Cable bag. Okay, so um, that's where you would you would get that. Um, so anyway, uh, let's see. What do we have here? Um, well, I'm going to go ahead. I, I think I'm just going to have to read to you all. I wanted to read something to encourage, as always. And, and I'm going to read something that you all have heard before. Many of you are living it. Um, even, even people who don't read you know, scripture regularly, you've heard this. You've, you've, you've seen this. You've seen this on plaques. But I don't think it can ever be read too much. This is from um, Paul's letter to the Corinthians. And um, the people in Corinth had issues, <laughs> okay, um, without getting into all the history of it. Um, but Paul had ministered to the people in Corinthians. And, and I think this letter came to them at a time when there were a lot of divisions, a lot of, yeah, a lot of bad stuff going on. And this, this is the people in the church. This isn't just the society. This was to the people. Um, in the church, okay, which should be, you know, the bright, it, it, let me say something about this, um, should be the, should be the best of the best, okay, but, but oftentimes the church is more like a hospital, okay, um, and, and at least that's the way it was designed by Jesus. The church is not for perfect people, and if you go to a church expecting everybody to be perfect, let me just say, you're going to be really disappointed because that's just not the case. Um, the church should be seen more like a hospital. It's a place where sick people go, people who need help, people who need to change their life, people who need forgiveness. Um, you get the idea. Um, and, and that's what churches should be. I mean, they're not, you know, as soon as you find out someone's a Christian, you know, a lot of times what people do is they just try to find where you're faulty, which is real easy to do because none of us are perfect, right? Um, but the church is not a place where perfect people gather. It's a place where sinners come to get forgiveness and, and where they come to find refuge, to find out, to try to get better by the grace of God. But um, but anyway, you get the idea. So I just wanted to, to be clear about that because I know a lot of people, you know, kind of snicker at it and think, oh, well, you think you're perfect. It's like, no, it, it, if you truly are coming to Christ, it's because you're at the end of your rope and there's no other option. And, and that's pretty much describes my life. And um, I won't get into all of that, but I didn't come to Christ because I had my act together. I came to Christ because I didn't at all. So, so Paul is writing to a group of people like this, okay, who don't have it all together. Um, I'll just read. This is um, 1 Corinthians chapter 13. And I'm going to try to get through it. If I speak in the tongues of men and of angels, but have not love, I am a noisy gong or a clanging cymbal. And if I have prophetic powers and understand all mysteries and all knowledge, and if I have all faith so as to remove mountains, but have not love, I am nothing. If I give away all I have, and if I deliver up my body to be burned, but have not love, I gain nothing. Love is patient and kind. Love does not envy or boast. It is not arrogant or rude. It does not insist on its own way. It is not irritable or resentful. It does not rejoice at wrongdoing, but rejoices with the truth. Love bears all things, believes all things, hopes all things, endures all things. Love never ends. As for prophecies, they will pass away. As for tongues, they will cease. As for knowledge, it will pass away. For we all know in part, 
and we prophesy in part. But when the perfect comes, the partial will pass away. When I was a child, I spoke like a child. I thought like a child. I reasoned like a child. When I became a man, I gave up childish ways. For now we see in a mirror dimly, but then face to face. Now I know in part, then I shall know fully, even as I have been fully known. So now faith, hope, and love abide, these three. But the greatest of these is love. Well, I just hope that blesses you. It just, just really blessed me this morning as I read that. I need to read it every day. I need to read it all the time because, you know, I, I where I live on a day-by-day, moment-by-moment basis is very far from that. But that is the goal. And that's, that's what we're striving for. And as we go forward as a nation, as a country, um, we just need to apply that to our lives and how we interact with each other, whether we agree with people or not. So that is my prayer for all of us. That's my prayer for myself. And um, on that note, I, again, if you have any questions I haven't answered, please, please post below once this um, video chat goes off. I do want to interact with you, but I do also just want to be mindful of your time. Thank you so much for participating with me today. I love you all sincerely, and I look forward to seeing you tomorrow or next Friday. God bless. Bye-bye.